First of all, thank you everybody for coming here today to make this event happen because without people it's not going to happen. I just want to tell you a bit of a story but this is another example of the Tent Fishers working in collaboration with one of our very good supporters, Linear Fisheries. So without them you don't get the event, you don't get the venue. Um, the Tent Fishers have got a very strong relationship with, with Linear and uh, I don't know if anyone is here from Linear but thank you very much indeed for, um, for your support. This all came about from about two or three years ago, uh, I, I called on an, in a Zoom AGM during the, the, the COVID lockdown and I called the membership out and said look you know we need to be perhaps branching ourselves out a little bit more, spreading the word for tench fishing, we had an, uh, an initiative called Tench Fishing uh, no, Future Horizons, wasn't it? Steve? Yes, Future Horizons. And one of the initiatives that came out of that was, why don't we revitalise the tent championships? I said, well, what do you mean we? I said, you, right? And Steve, bless him, he's, he put the proposal together. Um, it had legs. The committee said, yeah, that's a, that's a great idea. Um, so I said to Steve, okay, go away and put a, a project plan and a business case together for me, right? And he did. And then since then, we've revised it and it's come, we've ended up here. But every time I speak with Steve, I say, well, Steve, I think you need to go and do that. He's done it. Can you go and revise the cost? Done it. And what we've ended up with is what you're seeing here and what you've got in front of you. But this doesn't work without all the help from members who are here today you're standing around you'll be interfacing with them you're seeing them can we just say give a big thank you to all the people the volunteers who are helping out today to make it. So I went back to Steve and I said do you need some help Steve he said well can we just talk this over can we do this I said of course we can and he's gone away and this is almost single-handedly what he's done. He said, oh, I've got some carvings, I've got some trophies, um, we've got some, some goodie bags, I've got the venue, I've done this, I've done that. Uh, oh, by the way, I'll get some hats and, uh, uh, and some t-shirts and, I've got, and oh, I've got some tablecloths done as well. And, whoa, so, Steve. So, without this guy here doing all this work, right, we wouldn't have an event at all. No one else is good. He's not going to thank himself, so please, put your hands together. Okay guys, I'll, I'll just take you through the event timings. This briefing, we'll try and get it done in the next 15 minutes and then we can move on to the watercraft draw and I'll explain what that is in a minute. Um, this briefing duration, about 15 minutes. We hope to get the watercraft draw underway and done by 11.30 and at that point you'll be able to uh, disperse <coughs> up to your swims. That may involve you moving your car, uh, that's fine, but uh, if you need any help from the stewards with your parking, uh, please ask. Um, Linear uh, don't like any parking on the grass or cars being left permanently in unloading areas, so that's a point to, to remember. Uh, the match ends, will start today at 12 o'clock. I have 116 decibel form here, which I won't fire. So I did it at home and my, my wife nearly had a heart attack. It, it, you will hear it, I guarantee you. One blast starts the match and one blast will finish it 14, 12 o'clock on Sunday. We have to hand the venue back to Linear by 1300. So that gives you an hour for pack down. And then we've allowed an hour for you to stow your gear safely to come in here for the prize giving at 2 o'clock where we'll be presenting the trophies. Uh, the first prize is a pair of 12 pound Torexes, um, two, two, two pound test curve, and um, a voucher for um, 250 pound, and we have a second prize of 150 pound, and a third for 100, with these runner-up trophies as well. There are uh, 10 runner-up prizes also, not places nine to 13, they're branded T-shirts. Um, 
Okay, let's move on to uh, your competitor packs that was on your chair. I'm not going to make this complicated. We have a steward that is available to you on a 48-hour basis. There will be two stewards over the two shifts. We start today, uh, if they can identify themselves, we've got Phil Jackson, <coughs> Colin Olchin, uh, Pat Dower, yeah. Our, our videographer man, Paul Kalo, and electronics expert, <laughs> and uh, Mr. Dave Carter, a yeah. bit of a linear expert as well. And then 12 o'clock tomorrow, we swap over to the group that's below. Now, when you've done your watercraft draw, you can see at the top in red is your swim group. And if you're in swim group three today, because you pick 16 to 22, you'll have Pat Dow. Now, the way you communicate with your um, steward is by mobile. And we'll go on to talk now about <coughs> reporting captures. Is everyone happy that you can identify once you've got your swim number, who your steward is for the day from the chart? You happy with that? Yeah. Okay, reporting captures. As soon as the fish is landed and is in the retention sleep, that will be the time to call your steward. That is a 24 24 um, uh, call out. Uh, please do not call out the carp. We're only weighing uh, tension today. And on the carp issue, um, uh, we advise carp not to be retained to, to, to be returned. You have the opportunity once your steward arrives, he will do the weighing and he has an official form that will record your tench. For everyone's information, that information will then be transferred to the whiteboard. So anytime you can look at that whiteboard and see how it can be doing. Um, there, we'll build this board here. So uh, <laughs> Stuart takes it, he weighs it, his decision on weight is final. We have been through the process today of testing all of our scales on a um, high quality test kit. So we're, we're confident they're right. Um, weighing and retention, we've said, I think you've seen in the rules that all competitors do need a retention sling. Uh, we can't maintain, we can't keep tension, keep nets, landing nets or sacks. Um, that's the weighing and retention. So as soon as it's safe in your, in your sling, call your steward. Tench fisher and linear rules. I've included in your pack the linear rules. I've done an edit of those, most relevant to us. One of the things that you can't do here is spod maggots or their bearings. So spots and spots, you can't put out maggots. Okay? If you're hand ground bait baiting, there's nothing to say that you can't have maggots and ground bait. So no spotting of, of maggots. Okay? Um, the Tench Fisher rules, you will have read through them. There is a little additional set of rules there that covers a few areas and questions regarding what happens if uh, competitors tie on, on the same number of fish. Well, we'll take the aggregate weight of all the fish to find the winner. What happens if the aggregate weight matches? It's identical, very unlikely. Then we'll have a cut, an accuracy cast off to have the first place. But I don't, I can't, that's a really good one chance. So there's a few little extra rules in there. Do have a look at them. We don't want to make this too rule heavy, but do abide by them. Um, that covers your swim groups, reporting of your captures, weighing and retention, your rules, which are in your pack, and, and the extra rules. Now, watercraft draw is a system that we favour in the tension issues because like this competition which is about catching the most tench, it, it's a skill-based approach to angling and the more fish you can extract from a swim I think is a much better indicator than random weight because we can't decide whether it's a four pound tench on the line or a 20 pound tench or whatever, well hopefully. Um, so that's how <laughs> that will work. The water graph draw is the fact that when we finish the briefing we have a goodie bag here Take a goodie bag, in that goodie bag you will find a brown envelope, jiffy bag. 
In it will be your championship um, badge and also a counter, a green counter. If you draw, if you pull out counter one from your bag, you have first choice of swim. If you pull out pick 32, then you're last in the draw. That's how that works. So that covers our Warcraft draw. Um, I think I'll, I'll just hand over for any for any general questions that uh, any competitors have got. And just mention one other point on rules addendum. Um, when you get to your swim, there are no bait, there is no swim baiting or baited rods in the water till you hear the horn. But if you want to use a marker float or a deeper sonar device, you can. But no baited rods and um, in the water at that time until you hear the horn. But if you want to put a, a, a marker float out, okay, fine. Yes. Can you do a bit of raking out the floor? Sorry? Can you use a raking out the floor? I don't see any reason that you can't you can't use a raking floor. Yeah. Can you use a baiting pole? Um, there's, 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 there's nothing in the rules yeah. here that say, they say you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. A little bit about the bags here. I'm very pleased to say that the hook bait company has provided every competitor here with a kilogram of, uh, of their special tinkerberry boiling, which I'm delighted to have received. Yeah, that bait has produced tench over 12 pounds. Uh, we'd certainly like to get some special photographs of any tench caught on there, and I'm sure a kilogram of bait is going to get you some way to catch some good tench. Um, also, a, a, a big thank you across the tench fishers as well. Uh, in your goodie bag you have a branded cap, you have the uh, event badge and, and, and your bait in here. So um, a big thank you to all of our sponsors and that includes the tackle box as well. We've very very kindly donated um, gift vouchers here and um, some other companies that have been extremely helpful in fact, to buy some Yes. Steve, can I just ask everybody, when they come up to do the draw, to make sure they return their draw tokens, not keep them? Yeah. Yes, in your pack you've got this green token, uh, can you return them uh, when you come up to the draw? Ben at the back is going to be managing the watercraft draw. Um, well, if, listen guys, if there's no further questions than you're happy, uh, come up and select the bag uh, and uh, find out where you stand. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Is yours, sir? It's eight free there. Eight is free, sorry, yes. Yeah. Number eight. Perfect. Slightly shorter walk as well, something like that. Thank you. That should hopefully be everybody. Okay, brilliant. Looking nice. Natalie's in.
we're looking out from the south end of Oxley's Lake for the 2023 Tench Championships. Uh, the wind now coming northeasterly, hacking into this end of the lake, and if I walk around here, I might even be able to see fish topping, which they've been doing for the last couple of hours over there in the southwest corner of the lake. Uh, no bites yet probably down to a lot of the commotion of everybody setting up and getting going but uh, it's certainly looking good for some fish This is the first fish of the uh, championships. Really? Eight pound ten. Yeah. Oh. What a cracker. Happy man. Right, we're looking out onto Oxys Lake in the corner where the wind is blowing into, and we shouldn't have to wait too long to see uh, a show. What peg is this, Adam? 18, there we go. 18, there we go. Do you see that carp back just out there? They've been that distance and closer. We don't know if they're feeding on a hatch or uh, pre-spawning behaviour. I don't know. We have seen, we have seen tench as well. well Just move a bit closer to the water, get a better view. So far Adam hasn't had a bite, but he's feeling confident. Is that a turn? Yeah. No. Yes, yeah, mainly carp showing, but we have seen tench. And with any luck, they'll, uh, they'll get onto the angler's bait a bit later. Perhaps they should be fishing zigs. So with Rob Chapness on peg 17, uh, lots of fish showing and he is just small change in tactics and had a common carp not a tench unfortunately but a very nice fish and it's at least it's a bite that's a bit bigger than i thought to be fair probably 20 21 22 pounds like i'll give you um i'll give you 19 2 for that that's my guess anyway but handsome fish though well done mate very much. No tench, nope. but we'll have a tench soon, hopefully. Fingers crossed, they're showing out there, so fingers crossed. Yeah, good man. So I keep trying different things, but if, if they're not on it, they're not there, it's different. It? That's right. Yeah, you know 
Championships 2023. This is an eight pound five ounce male being returned. But what's your name, mate? Bruce. Bruce. Bruce thought it was a car because these huge muscular fish with those huge fins that they carry on the belly. They fight so hard. Same overnight catch, Bruce is returning this 7-7 seven, seven female. Gorgeous looking fish, looked a lot bigger than it weighed. There you go, look at that. Just landed a tench. He's trying to get the rod back in desperately, and these other bodies giving him indications. Bruce's tench number six, six pound fourteen male, and we're admiring the beauty of it and its maleness. I say you should have seen the eight from before. It was, yeah. Championships on Saturday morning with five tench, uh, including one recently. So hopefully 
those indicators will be flying away very soon. Here's Malcolm returning his second fish of the tournament. An eight to six mile, absolutely magnificent looking mile. Paul Armfield, when seeing this, was beside himself with joy at the beauty of the fish. Ooh. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah, I've got it, yeah. Nice one. What a lovely, lovely tone. There she goes. Thank you. Here we are, the last minute or so of the 2023 Tench Championships at Oxley's Lake. I'm behind Bruce Rusko's swim. Bruce is the clear, clear winner with eight fish. Uh, the horn is about to go. There we go. Please go shake his hand. Congratulations, Bruce. Well done, hey. well done. Well done. Smashed it up. Look at that. Great photo. Yeah, I yeah, do that. Yeah, do that. Both yeah, hands. Go on, mate. Like Throw your hat up as well. Put your other rods off. Give me bald head, Okay guys, well welcome to the prize giving. I think it would be fair to say what we know now compared to what we didn't know 48 hours ago is a little bit more. But I'd say we had some tough fishing out there. But amongst that, I think we've had great camaraderie, we've had some great tench, and also some great carp over 40 pounds during that time. <laughs> however, however, when we come to the specimen walk, we'll also be talking about tench over eight pounds. So, without further to do, it's time to announce the winners and do the presentation. In first place is the one man, Mr. Bruce Roscoe, with 8 tench to 8 five. Big man on the First of all, can I present you the first trophy? This is to keep, to, to have in your angling den forever and ever. This represents first prize. I'll present that to you. Yeah. And thank you to the Tackle Box for presenting uh, a gift voucher here for £250. Yeah. And a big, big thank you to Harrison Rods for presenting two £2 Torics um, 
and I hope that brings you a lot more attention. Thank you. Thank you. In second place, uh, we have Malcolm Morris and um, someone I've known across the angling world from my specimen group days for 30 years, so he's not a stranger to me. With two tench to eight six, Malcolm Morris, second prize. Yeah. Crystal Trophy, Thanks, guys. and in order you can keep your tackle in good order, yeah. 150 quid voucher. Well okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, last, the last in the major trophy is Graham Parry, third place with two tench to 415. Would you like to come and get your tro trophy, Graham? Shake in a photo. Yes. Well done. Well done. Thank Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Now, the interesting thing about this competition that um, third place with two tench was till around about quarter to 11, anyone who had one tench was in, in, in position for for a prize here, but we, we pretty much knew by Huppest 11 where we'd stand. Now we come to uh, where we actually have a tie, because Adam Bojar for the Specimen Award caught an 810 tench, and so did Phil Hatton. Now, what do we do? Because they're both the same weight, and they've both caught the same number of fish, but in the rules addendum, we, we had to think about that, thanks to my colleagues Pat <laughs> and Nigel, who know more about rules than I do, and they said, you better put this in. We're going to actually do a cast-off competition. The competitors will go out into the green field there to cast a feeder at a marker. They're going to actually have three trial casts, then they nominate their main cast, and the nearest to the marker wins the prize, which we'll actually present out on the, um, on the field. It is, again, another carved tench in American white oak, uh, for that specimen prize. But the only way you can determine that is with the best caster. And uh, I'm not going to say who's going to win, but I have an idea who might. So that, that covers, uh, that covers the, um, the specimen award, which we'll do after we present the runner-up awards by merit. In fourth equal for a T-shirt, we have Phil Hatton and specimen tenchman Adam Bojar. If you'd like to come up and present it. Thank you. Thank you. And, and here, if you'd like to stand over here, we'll try and get some extra. Well, <laughs> one size fits all. Ingrains, Adam. Yeah, it might. Face this way, please. Yeah. Handshake, yeah. Adam, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Well done. Yeah, well done. And you're not off the hook for the casting, Adam. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've said Phil. <laughs> and um, <laughs> to complete the uh, runner-up prizes, can we um, ask Chris Reynolds and Nick Tucky to come up in sixth and seventh place for their t-shirts, please? Oh, yeah. Well done, guys. Excellent result. You're on the board here. Shake hands together. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> now, because we've had quite a demanding event, we have um, some some T-shirts that um, we've done a draw for, a random draw. I didn't use names or swim numbers. I used your Tench Fisher's reference, which I'd only know, and we picked some names out the hat. So I'll go to the table and I'll call out the names for the uh, for the other T-shirts. Right. We have. Um, 
Uh, Matthew Miller, Sorry. is he with us? Matthew? Draw it again. <laughs> no, it's going to be posted. Uh, Simon Harwood and Gavin Morton. No one here? Draw it again. Um, <laughs> Natalie Slater. <laughs> well done, Natalie. You this is a, f a fantastic effort, and you had some amazing carp down there. I know the tension didn't turn up uh, uh -huh. on this occasion, but well done. Thank fantastic you very much. effort. Appreciate yeah. you. Can I just ask? Ben Calvert or Darren Etches are here. Yeah. <laughs> They've gone, have they? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we'll post the rest. Um, well yeah. So that that's got our prizes presented by the specimen um, caster. If you give us a couple of minutes, we're, we're going to call our casting expert over, Pat Dow and he's going to set up the casting competition. So we'll, we'll contact him now, because I think he's soaked off to do a bit of fishing. Yeah, I'd just like to say, um, for next year, anyone who's joined us this year, member or non-member, and I hope that some of you are non-members have had a, a, um, a good insight into the tension issues, and I know some of you already joined. Um, we've got the opportunity for you to have um, first option on a place next year. Um, I'd like to say a very, very big thank you to, to the 12 staff who've worked here since Thursday afternoon to set this up and stewarding on like 24 hour shifts. Um, although I've worked here to do the basic organisation, without the commitment from our members to run this, it just simply couldn't happen. So, can we have a round of applause for yourself? Although it sounds like a bit of a plug, it isn't, because we've had long-term relationships with three businesses here. Um, Harrison Rods, the Hookbait Company, which actually has produced some very good tension carp here today with their Tinkerberry brand, and, and the Tackle Box, who are long-term sponsors of the um, Tension Fishers, and have, have presented us some, some fabulous prizes. So a big thank, thank you to them. So I'll close with the a huge round of applause. Thank you. Well, Steve. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, just to start again, if I've got everybody, uh, everybody. engaged in the process. So in the fight off for the specimen fish prize, we have Phil Hatton and Adam Bojar with three. And an equal catch of eight pounds, 10 ounce female tench. Correct. So this is an accuracy test. Um, the target, you can see the bank stick with the hat on over there. Each competitor is allowed up to three practice casts but when they go for the cast, that is the one. Um, you're allowed to clip, during your practicing, you're allowed to clip up at any stage if you want to. You can't walk it, it's just all on your casting. And um, near it, one shot, and nearest the target is the winner. The judge's decision is final. The only other rules that I must make you aware, if you go in the tree, you are automatically disqualified. <laughs> a little bit. Which tree? <laughs> the tree just beyond the cap. Well, good point. Good point to us. Right, so we'll have a toss of a coin. If I have one. A toss of a credit card. <laughs> okay, do you call Adam? Tails. Okay, so, Adam first. So Good start, Adam. Good we start. have. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll lose the toss as well. Yeah. <laughs> a beautiful quorum rod lent by uh, Mike Simpson. Where's Mike? Yeah. Yeah. There you are. Thank you, Mike. That's much appreciated. He's gone, he's gone to penalties. So it's it's foot on the board. Right. When it lands, you just leave it where it is, Adam.
could you just put your thumb on that, please? Yep. Thank you very much. It's the midpoint of the lead. And we are 92.9 centimetres. 92.9 centimetres. Where is it? Oh, so it's a two ounce lid, is it? Right, hold on. So we're beyond 150. Well, we've, we've got a winner, haven't we? we? So if you just release that, I'll just give an actual reading. Thank you. One. 66.1 Adam Bojar A distance of 92.9 centimetres Phil Hatton scored a distance of 161.6 centimetres oh. Adam Bojar oh. Congratulations, Adam, Thanks on much. winning not only the specimen trophy for 810 but facing off on a casting competition for a tie. I present you the specimen trophy. It's an American white oak carved tench on the Driftwood base with a gold plaque and it's all yours to put in your study. Thanks very much. Well, yeah. yeah. well done to Phil Hatton as well for catching the same size tench. Absolutely yeah, yeah, brilliant. 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 Yeah, brilliant.